How y'all feel out there? Do you feel good? I said, do you feel good? Come on. The groove feel good when it make you move. Make your next move your best move. Uh-huh. I said, the groove feel good when it make you move. Make your next move your best move. Uh-huh. It feel good, don't it? It feel good. Uh-huh. It feel good because you know it's good. Hey, it feel good, don't it? It feel good. Uh-huh. What's up, good people? Safari Tourist again, bringing you the after information absolutely free. Wherever you're watching from, welcome to our channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring that notification bell every other time we drop another video, you stay notified. So today, we're going to discuss about um, what happens beyond the DS-260 submission. Once you submit, you will wait for your case processing at the Kentucky or KCC. The National Visa Center, once they're done with it, you'll get the second notification letter, the 2NL, that will have or contain at least uh, uh, three important aspects. Your case number, that's the notification number and also the dates that your interview is scheduled to be at the embassy for the visa and also they'll give you guidelines to the appointed agent where you'll go for your medical examination. So in this case, you are supposed to do your medicals before you go for your visa interview. So make sure before the embassy dates for the visa, you do your medicals at least two weeks before that date. That will enable them to send your results to the embassy and also that will make them get ready to have you for the interview. So don't delay on these aspects. And you know, this is the time you have to dig deep into the pockets because you have to pay for your medical examination. This is the first aspect or the first uh, portion of it where you'll have to spend out of your pocket. The DV lotteries, they are free. They come by a corporate chance, but also they are costly. It is a costly process. So don't say it's free when you get it and you wait for or depend on somebody to pay for you. You gotta look for money. Once you became successful, you have that long period in between to keep saving your money for this specific process. So once you're done with your medicals, they'll give you the details and uh, give you a packet that you will go to the embassy with. And once you go to the embassy, make sure you arrive there early enough before that is stipulated time. Because you'll have to go through the security checks. And once you're done with that, I advise that uh, you better be there one hour to your interview. Because uh, sometimes you can get a, a long queues going through the security checks so you better be ready for that and be prepared and once you go to the embassy they'll receive your documents you'll be instructed to pay uh, for the visa process and they will interview you most simple questions they'll ask you will be about your bio data or whatever that you filled in the DS-260 if things never changed from your initial application. And if they changed still, whatever changes will be is what you'll have to do what we call burden of proof because uh, things do change like when you marry. So once you become successful, You'll be, you'll leave your passport with them and then you'll be instructed to leave and they will mail 
the passport to you in two to three weeks to your designated DHL. So you have to register with the DHL, a branch of your choice where you'll pick your stamped passport with a visa. That is the case specifically for the way things move in countries like Kenya. So, thank you good people. That's it for now. The next process will cover about the port of entry. Thank you and stay tuned. Keep subscribing.